John here from Churches Alive Online. Okay, I'm going to show you how to add a recurring event on your calendar. This is all that would affect, would occur every week of the year, week in, week out, no exceptions. Okay, so as you can see, I've gone onto the components menu and then onto the calendar tool and then onto the events option. This that could also be accessed by going to the control panel and then clicking on events. So here I am, and I'm going to add a new event which I want to be occurring every Wednesday. So I click on date on the date tab, and because it's every Wednesday, I click on Wednesday and I'm going to click on start. And let's go for the 1st of January. That's a Wednesday the 6th of January at 10 o'clock. Click on validate and that's going to go on all year. So I'm just going to click through the month to January 17. And I'll review it and see if it's going to carry on or not. Yep, check, check the time. It still says 10 o'clock. Validate. All I need to do now is go back to the first tab, choose the category. I'm going to choose services. I'm just going to call it Wednesday Coffee. And now it is a good idea to add an event image. It's not essential because you might end up with a grey box if you don't. However, you have got a folder called Church Picks, which is full of pictures that will have um, the kind of thing you may want for your church. So in this case, I'm just going to choose Cup of Coffee. Insert. And then I'm just going to save that and I've done a whole year's Wednesday coffee mornings in a few seconds. For this tutorial, there is a more complex tutorial if you want to have events that are on a non-recurring pattern. However, I will just give you one more tip. If you want to have a break in your event, say we're going to have February off and then restart, then you can create just another block of recurring events. So if I uh, go back into Wednesday coffee, I do save as copy. Now I've got a new copy of the event. I'm just going to take away the number three in the brackets here. And I also need to change to published because by default it will start as unpublished just because you've copied the event. And then if I go into the block of dates, I now need to start my new block of dates after my first. So if I keep going, I'm now going to start. I'm going to have a break until the first Wednesday in March in 2017 and that's again on the start of the 10, 10 o'clock the same time validate that and then the end date I'm just going to go on until the summer because I don't know how this coffee morning is going to continue that far in advance and I just click the Wednesday I want it to continue to so now I've created another block of events which was after my first one with a gap in between again the other tutorial explains how to set up more complex events where you have several different breaks all in one event which may be a more useful way for you okay hope you find that useful if you have any questions post a comment on youtube or get back to me and i'll uh, see what i can do to help just click like and share if you do find it useful that would be great and keep watching the channel for new videos